my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight up. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and crawl, and she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. You know she's got an aggressive style. That's exactly what we've seen thus far. She's a sharpshooter. Yeah. She is a sharpshooter in the highest order. And every time she steps to the octagon, she's looking to finish the fight as fast as she can. Oh my goodness. Another head kick lands. Not every day you see multiple head kicks land and a fighter somehow stay in the fight. I can't believe she is just standing here still. You cannot take shit to the dome. When you take shit to the dolls, you are generally sleeping. Think, Valentina Shevchenko versus Jessica I. You got to get your hands up. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. 
Well, eventually she will turn this defense into offense, but she seems to see these strikes coming from a mile away. She sees them a mile away, and the hands are exactly where they're supposed to be, right on the chin. Oh, nice. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that. When she is this, free-flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. All right, so she continues to attack the body to great effect. Actually, some redness now underneath the elbow of her opponent. Yeah, she does a great job of attacking the body in multiple different ways, and it's starting to pay dividends for her. Nice right hand there from Ioana Yeon Jacek. She's got that look in her eye tonight. That'll scare a lot of men, never mind women. I mean, the boogie woman, right? Doesn't she call you. herself the boogie woman? She's the boogie woman that's coming for you. And you see that she's back in that state that allowed her to become the longest reign strawweight champion in the UFC history. Silva's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. in there, cut it. Looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC Chief among it, the big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A big Ready knockdown fight. off of that punch. Ready. She was flowing, letting everything go, and then she sat down on that strike that put her opponent down. It looked like the fight was over, but we do go forward. Just missed on the front kick there. Oh. oh, she's been setting up that weapon all night. She did not miss there. She's been looking for it, and she finally got it. And now she's going to see if she can close the night. Oh, nice right hand. Shots going on right here. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? All right, nice body attack there, and damage really starting to pile up on that fighter's side. Well, she hasn't defended it. Well, of course, it's starting to pile up. She's getting. Oh, she's hurt. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, big left hook there. We march on three minutes to go. Nice straight right lands. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, so a lot of blood becoming a factor now as she continues to attack that cut. You know, I remember when the cut first happened, you saw her smile. Like, okay, I got her now. Now I'm in my now I'm in my zone. But now all there it is again. Look at that. Oh, inside kick. Oh, shot fire there. Probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Silva's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh, she is in a world of trouble. We'll see if she can survive. Oh! Man, she can hardly stand now, and if she was a step behind before when she was fresh, how do you think she feels now that she's barely able to step on that leg? I've never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? Combinations here! Oh, saved by the bell there. There's the horn, end of the round. Thankful. 
hopefully she will live to see another round. So back to the stool. She only has 60 seconds here to recover. We'll see if her corner physically and mentally can keep her in this fight. What a seminal moment there at the end of the round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that previous round, and she got knocked down. Didn't see that strike coming. No, she didn't see it coming. She had taken a lot leading up to that. It wasn't one strike that hurt her. It was an accumulation of the damage she had taken that put her in that spot. She's tough, but let's see if she can turn the action around as we go forward. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. No idea how these two women are standing. They are both landing massive shots. Good punch. Well, the head kick has really been her primary weapon thus far, and her opponent has had no answers for it. I'm really not sure how many more she can take. Defense held up there as she blocks that shot. Ian Jacek's cut above the eye from that strike, so some definite adversity now for the fighter. We'll see if she can rise above it and keep her head in this fight. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, right Big right hand. Oh, huge left. Well, her striking has been great tonight. Rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you got to think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get the first. She should be disappointed. Oh. She's hurt. She's hurt bad. Silva's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Oh! Oh, do it. Wow. Wow. What a turn of events here inside this arena. An absolutely crazy flush knockout, and there's going to be no wiping that smile off her face tonight. She's going to be smiling all the way to the bank after a knockout like that. What a performance. What a knockout. Unbelievable. We said it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 58 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joanna Yejejan. All right, so the former strawweight queen getting it done in a big way here tonight. She is far from finished. Joanna Yejejan, your winner by knockout. She's always been one of those fighters that if she can get you hurt, she's going to finish you. And to carry that type of power at that weight class is very impressive. Huge knockout by Ioana and JJ. And we'll see what they do with her moving forward, but you can be sure another big fight in this 115-pound division awaits the former strawweight queen.